Hey guys, thanks for watching Night Exer, and welcome back to some more Let's Play XCOM! And I'm within. here. Ricky is I'm, here. Hello. Yes. Hi. Hello. That's me. So, um... The Jews did this. <laughs> so, um... They brought me here. First and foremost, guys, um... A, Ricky is visiting me. I'm not here in my free will. Yeah, um... They I made me do I it. dragged him here by the ears. Um, also, too, I'm... I apologize for not posting videos, uh, um... Yeah. For, like, a month, um... Last... The last um, quarter of school was um, kind of difficult with final exams and stuff, but um, here I'm back and here's more XCOM. And um, I figured, well, what better way to you know come back to YouTube uh, than you know have my best friend here and stuff like that. He's drinking coffee. Also, FaceTiming with his girl. Oh, it's it's wrong. <laughs> this is chocolate milk. This is chocolate milk. Yes, this is it's the best drink chocolate on milk. earth. Okay. It's very coffee. much chocolate milk. So, um, guys, in the last episode of XCOM, um, I remember we had a UFO mission, someone almost got strangled to death, uh, someone missed a point-blank shot, and, uh, we built a bunch of crap that I don't really remember. I'm not e exactly sure what save this is on, so there might be, a, well, at least one save continuity error, but I know this isn't a UFO mission, so, um, we should be good. Um, also, a little side note, this is post-commentary, because, um, well, um, Ricky brought his dad with him, and, um, they were talking up a storm in the front room, and, um, it was, like, really loud and obnoxious. And obnoxious. the upcoming events here, uh, in the game, we have, uh, our carapace storm coming in about four days. Um, and the council report comes up in four. Here's our roster. Uh, now, due to my in inactivity of YouTube, I've been um, I haven't really added anyone to the roster. And I didn't really want to touch XCOM, because this is still supposed to be a blind let's play. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and promote some people, um, Alan's gonna get, um, a new ability here, he's gonna get, uh, aggression, I think. This pair's nice with run and gun, in my opinion. And we're gonna go ahead and promote, uh, Ricky. And it doesn't matter. I, I am this commentary. Ricky is going to be a run and gun squatty with a shotgun. I am this commentary. I well, am I the commentary. How, I see how it is. Yes. Fine. And, uh, Dewo Hill is, um, going to be a sniper. He's going to get the headshot ability. <laughs> so again, uh, here's our roster. Now, our commentary is a bit more in-depth in the post, but it's, it's not exactly the greatest thing ever. Um, I, I will probably hurt you guys' ears every time I go tss. And it cut, yeah, but it won't go that bad because there's not as many, much people talking in the background and stuff like that. So, um, what our, what our main goal here is, um, we're, we're gonna have to try and build the carapace armor and we're gonna have to, have to get enough, um, materials to do so. So, um, I didn't know this before starting the mission. I need 10 engineers to start building the carapace armor. Um, thankfully, the difficult mission that we embark on right here is um, one of those things. Um, it, it gives us four engineers and I think we had six, something like that, where um, we could go ahead and purchase the carapace armor. Right now I'm doing the officer training school, we're doing wet work and squad size, so we're gonna increase our squad size to five instead of four. Also, um, I purchased an um, the new engineers perk, which allows us this morning, for 25% um, more experience glad to have more help uh, per kill, I think. Yeah. Now we're also going to build the access lift, so we can start expanding our base downwards. Also, um, I think there's something in the game with steam, steam generators, I something like that. Um, we're going to hollow out that area eventually once it becomes available to us. I've already put the and, new recruits uh, we'll be able to work get more in the lab. power into the, the XCOM facility here. So we're going to go ahead and scan for more alien activity. Our access lift is going to be ready in about five days. Carapace storm is going to be ready in about four. And I'm still dead. And there's there's our carapace armor. Um, we're available to uh, manufacture it now. This basically, uh, I think, this actually replaces the nano suit armor that we've uh, kept wearing for quite some time. And uh, I think we're right here. Um, I'm kind of deciding. I wanted to go with beam weapons because, as far as I know, beam weapons mean uh, sick lasers <laughs> and laser weapons and stuff like that. So that could have been really really cool. But, um, I expected warfare, that would I think be a priority that might lead to like, task, um, Commander. Something to I'll do with melt. Allocating... Uh, I, I want to find out what this melt stuff does. I think it has something to do with like G modification and stuff like that. So, Commander, 
Uh, We're tracking several well, reported well, we'll abductions via the holocaust. Mm, exactly sure I've got the coordinates yeah, locked I know in. it's important. If, I mean, it wouldn't be in the game if it wasn't important. So right here, I mean, right here, we're just like debating on whether or not um, we what site we should go to. Uh, the panic level, um, the United States is relatively low, so we can go ahead and skip the. I mean, it's pretty much no brainer. Think about it. France, they aren't gonna fight for themselves, anyways. <laughs> the U.S., they got we have a badass military. Like, who's gonna help South Africa? Where well, they got like spears and stuff. I mean, that's like the most civilized part of Africa. That's yeah. like the most racist thing I've probably said on this channel. Yeah. Well, except for the last part. What do you mean? Something, uh, oh look, it's Boxer Rebellion. We were playing. <laughs> <laughs> we, were, we were trying to, we were gonna upload, we were gonna upload a, a commentary of, uh, Mirror's Edge, but unfortunately the commentary on that, the sound quality on the commentary wasn't that solid, so we didn't no. upload it. But what happened was, it was a, it was like a, like, the intro cutscene, and it was like, oh, it's the Boxer Rebellion. It was like a whole bunch of people lying. <laughs> of course, they all have to look like Asian, because it's like, the main character fate is like, Oriental looking, and I was like, okay, God, oh, look, the Boxer Rebellion. So, we're gonna go ahead and, um, I have to make everything available to us. Um, oh, there's so many people that are on I didn't actually know this, but, um, we're, we're missing, like, two of our main guys. The rest of our guys aren't exactly, um, don't have a specialization yet. Yeah. So, um, I'm thinking after maybe I get, like, two more of these guys specialized, I'm gonna go ahead and hire more soldiers, and then I can bring more, more of my subscribers into the XCOM unit. And um, we'll see how that goes from there. So we're, we're figuring it out right now. Uh, we only have four na and nano nanofiber vests. My body is ready. And we don't have enough engineers. So I'm like, okay, we have to do the hard mission in uh, South Africa. I think it was. Or was it France? <laughs> South Africa. Don't do that. What, what happened? <laughs> I was drinking my coffee. Oh my god. That wasn't coffee. Those that was those, you going? <laughs> That was also the table of which you just I had hit. to do that because I did that last time. So um, I have to go ahead and um, I have to go ahead and buy one more nano nano suit fiber vest nano fiber vest. How, how do you say nano fiber vest? I mean I just did. But shut up. Okay, and now we have, we have to go ahead and buy one more. I didn't notice this. I was about to dismiss Lemar. That would have been bad. Um, I do. I think there's actually. Um, I hope there's a ability, there's an ability to where I can carry like, uh, something like armor and then a grenade, or a medkit, or something like that. Because I, have, I, have, I haven't used medkits throughout this entire let's play, and those are really, really handy. I think I might have used them once, I'm not Especially sure, since probably I'm not. dying, because you kill them all, including well, me. Yeah, here's the tri here's what I like to do. I guess I'll, I'll talk more about the strategy in game, but ever since the Seekers got introduced, they only go for like one single solitary target, and they're using like like three, like one to three of them, or one to two of them. And you know what I do is I get in a defensive position, wait for them, use use one of the rookies as bait, and um, you know take them out with uh, Overwatch reaction shots. And if that doesn't work, they get strangled. Um, they they have another turn to take them out uh, with the whole team, and then we're all good. So, so right now here's what we're taking: taking Neymar and Robert Townsend. Brown and I did some of the last guy, I'm so sorry, I'm gonna put a uh, title up on the video right now. <laughs> Shut More up. editing. <laughs> More editing, yay. Oh, oh. Alright, so uh, we're doing the hard mission for the engineers. We're heading to South Africa for this one, and we need to Operation get down there and shield. Loading screen. In South Local Africa. Local government forces well, have reported this much in the actual alien attack. Yeah, we it's it's kind of hard to play on when us to you're trying to like play a strategy game, okay? It's harder when you're trying to play it's, the it's, speeder, like... No, it's harder when you... You haven't even played this game, so it's, like, stressful, okay? You you decide to move a guy to a space, and then, like, the next thing you know, you get a bunch of floaters and seekers who come, like, barreling at you. I don't play games like this. What? That's why you don't play games like this? I said, what, so what makes you think I haven't played games like this? You know, I have other friends that also have gaming systems. I hope you know that. Just what? because I've known you the longest doesn't mean I do everything with you. You should totally, like, buy this game, though. Mostly for a video, because I want to kick your ass in the, uh, multiplayer. Central, this is Big Sky. Strike team is touching down now. I'm withholding. Withholding. Roger, Big Sky. 
reading yeah. you five by five. Okay, so um, my main plan here is um, I never actually leave this courtyard in the um, <laughs> like the entire time. The entire time, basically, <laughs> because uh, what I wanted to do yeah, is um, usually in my mind, uh, usual or the difficult ones mean either floaters or seekers, and I hate all of them with a passion. <laughs> I embrace them openly. They're all my friends. Because floaters are a pain in the butt when the map has like multiple levels because they can jump up onto a roof and then they can see you and they can float in the air. You can't see them and then the guys for some I reason have a tough there. shot hitting them. And it's just real pain in the butt. Also, I don't know why they did this for Sniper, but on the second move, Got it. you can't move, move or shoot. Unless you want to switch your pistol, of course, but once you use that, it's, it's like not even anything. Just like... Uh, Already there. It is two damage. Like, I think even with a crit, it does two damage. It might do three or four, but I'm not sure. And crits are pretty lucky, though. So I basically never leave this spot because um, I'm you hoping to see it. some seekers, um, of which I think I think we actually do. There might be um, oh, three oh, no, going somewhere. And you know, usually when you land in the corner map like this, away from the buildings, yeah, uh, cover is sparse. At least on this map. See, we don't, the only really full cover thing we have the is full cover is sparse. You, you have a couple. Oh yeah, full cover is sparse. Covers, yeah. The only really full cover things are these two uh, abduction modules where um, those two guys are at. So um, what I'm trying to do here is uh, I want to get this meld, but um, I'm worried since we're near a building, there's gonna be aliens inside the the thing. So uh, I'm moving, moving my guys here to go ahead and cover. I think that was Lemar who's going up to take the meld. Now, um, I don't really normally go for the second melt unless it's like an absolute emergency because by then I usually don't, um, I'm in the middle of a firefight and can't just like send a guy across the map for some melt. But, I um, I, said before, I'm done <laughs> I don't even know what the crap does yet, you but... YOLO, dude. Oh, isn't this, isn't it for like, That's affirmative. a cutscene something? I remember something about a cutscene. I could be used to like, hmm. I don't remember what it was like improving some I don't know. But I wanna get I'll have to check it out. Though. Yeah, I'll I'll watch my other videos and I'll <laughs> come up with another freaking answer. Look at he actually cares about you coming up to watch his own videos again. I know. It's crazy. Well speaking of which probably a good idea. Like mm -hmm. if you guys have any critiques or anything like that. Yeah. I'm please be open. sure. I don't take anything personally. If I don't take per anything personally, I take everything personally, I just don't tell you. <laughs> But yeah. since you're on the internet, I don't care. I don't know. Okay, you don't know me. You don't, you don't know my life oh, story. So they said some things in my time. Yep. I remember back in Vietnam, it was pretty. Oh, we had like gangrene and stuff. Uh, Did they? They probably had gangrene over in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. Gangrene was more prominent in World War One though. It was, it was gangrene. Trench That's when like you get that flesh eating disease like eats away like at your legs and stuff. Oh god. Like, <laughs> yeah. That was oh. more prominent in like World War One because you like stuck in the trenches I'm for like rolling. long periods of time and it's like nasty. Isn't that trench foot? Trench foot is game. That's oh. it's like it's trench foot's another word for it. Alright. That makes sense. Oh guys, um, you just, uh, or when you sleep around with either way. Alright, so we got uh, we got we got two floaters, I think. Um this guy misses his first shot. Which I'm like, eh, it's a forty five percent chance, something like that. Maybe. And uh, Alan, they both shoot at walls because the logic. You know, but they saw that at least they tried. You know, they, they tried. But at least they threw some fire that way. Oh, it's some fire! What, what year is this anyways? Um, it goes by the Xbox oh, yeah, Also, I get a freaking awesome crit on that uh, floater, which is great. We don't have to worry about the right flank anymore. Now we have um, two sectoids and one more floater to take care of. They're both inside the building. One's outside the building. Um, a few of our guys can take some pretty good pot shots at him. I still haven't gotten the meld yet because I'm I'm mostly worried about uh, these guys um, taking us out, especially that one sectoid that's near the meld. If I try and like take a shot there, I'll be pretty bad time. And we won't have fun there. Um, Here's the, here's the hard part though about being outdoors. You only have like benches and freaking um, like plants to take behind. So maybe some cars. Uh, they're all half cover, except for some cars. Then you're fine. But then um, 
as opposed to like being inside the building and stuff it gets a real cover it's it's kind of hard to do and um half cover isn't really all that ideal unless you're I try to go for full cover and I get a really really nice shot on this guy next guy I'm trying to figure out how to what, what's the best course of action to shoot this guy um, I have three guys who can take the shot 45% chance of both of them for um, this guy for Lemar so I have to take the shot of course I missed because XCOM of course you're so heated. Because that's calm. Yeah, I'm not. You, you think I'm joking. Missed with him. So, we've taken. Uh, luckily, I get him. It's really gruesome. Heading to that location. Like, what do you mean, gruesome? Killing aliens. They, they came here to like. I was hoping there was like a bull. I was hoping there was a bull on his head. So I'm on it. It's it was just it was just animated blood. Okay. It wasn't even blood. It's green. So what I do? I put the last guy into Overwatch just in case they um, go ahead and push forward for some reason. But this is like going somewhere else. Uh, and but then there are the two seekers. I'd say the aliens developed this unit. It's so much fun when they go to stealth mode and isolating single targets. It appears um, they have a sophisticated evasion sometimes. system as well. <laughs> Perhaps we should try I, I, I to avoid the those are tentacles. Like, like they like exist in the game. So, um, I think the last video, I probably spent like an extra 15 minutes trying to find the last few alien nests. And it was really like one seeker that was cloaked like the entire time following me around. And then all oh, my guys were like all spread out and crap. And then, um, the secret finally appeared and we managed to take him out, but that was kind of ridiculous. Fuck, you learn. Yep. The secrets exist in XCOM. Copy that. We took in here every day. By the way, guys, uh, while we're waiting, um, many of you XCOM fans have probably heard yeah, that a sequel's coming out to this game. Yeah, That's not, uh, that. expansion. It's Roger pretty cool. Scanning. Pretty cool, pretty cool. XCOM 2. Uh, apparently, in the end, the aliens win. They have panics Earth, and there's like all this, like giant, like cool cities and stuff. But like the aliens are in charge, you know what I mean? And there's like this, there's like the this anti X kind of thing that's called um, Advent, which I guess is like the alliance with aliens something. The E probably means extraterrestrial or something. And then. You have XCOM, who's still, like, going at it, trying to get the aliens the heck off of Earth, and stuff like that. But, since the aliens have already, like, you know, annex Earth and stuff, like, imperialism, you know what I mean? People are probably gonna look at XCOM like they're a bunch of terrorists who don't know what the hell they're doing. Yeah. Like, why, why are you blowing up all these aliens? Like they're my best friends. Like, imperialism or imperialism? Imperialism. Like, going to, like... Like, um, the UK, or, um, the British, Scanning. into, um, Africa, and stuff like that. Like, like, yeah, the, the, like, the early 1900s. Got it covered. So, <laughs> yeah? Um, Fallout 4. For, oh, yeah, the Fallout 4 trailer came Fallout out. Fallout 4, yeah, that's good, that's gonna be a huge deal. I can't wait. With, you know, I mean, I haven't beaten the other two games that I have for I'm the 360, but... Oh, there's a secret. I get. Oh, I get so lucky there. <laughs> because I put all of them in Overwatch. I wasn't expecting them to be there. So basically, when, you, when you've when you like isolated the aliens, what I like to do if, if there's like two seekers around anywhere, then um, you know what to do. Um, so this right there, he's buffed. Um, hence the aura around his head. Um, this guy misses. And. Basically, wherever that trail is, is where the other sectoids are. So what you have to do, you have to follow that trail, and hunt the rest of them, basically. Wait, wait, wait. Moving to position. So I saw, I saw some good shots here. However, I, I want to move up, um, uh, to this spot right here. Get a good shot on him, he's dead. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. 
Got to get it, get it, get it, get it. Yeah, got it, got it. This is, got this is it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Overwatch Alrighty. my eye. And then I realized at this turn, I'm like, oh shit, I'm out of ammo. I need to reload. <laughs> uh, hopefully, Advanced Weaponry doesn't you know, require us to reload and stuff. Hopefully, this technique game doesn't give me uh, any STDs. Why would XCOM give you STDs? <laughs> Why would XCOM give you STDs? But just, Back online. just aliens. It, how? Heading out. Oh, ancient me. alien man, you know? Dude, just ancient aliens is my favorite show. Giraffes. Don't mess with ancient aliens. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, we're gonna get into this discussion again. Giraffes, oh yeah. Again. So, um, and the unused, um, Mirror's Edge commentary that, that, that we just explain, did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me explain, because I'm the one who said this. So basically how it went down was, um... I was talking about Plato's theory on absolutes, basically, and um, what is a chair, I guess, so to say. Because that's the question I always ask when we're discussing is, what is a chair? And this guy's an Overwatch, and I did not see that coming. No, because on my this XCOM is still needs to be. I, this is part of the Let's Play. I need to focus the crap on this video. So I asked the question, what is a chair? And he's like, something Visual you sit on. on. The goods. Like, well, you could sit on a giraffe, because I'd make a giraffe a chair. <laughs> and he went try the point I was trying to get across was the fact that, like, anything could be a chair, because a chair really has no absolutes. And so what Plato's play yeah, theory play was... Only a Sith deals in absolutes. Um, do what I must. But Sith, Sith, what Plato... Got him. Got him. What Plato was said was basically like there's, like, kind of what you call, like, an alternate, an alternate reality. Or dimension in which chair exists in its purest form, and everything we see here in this world that we call chair is merely a copy or a shadow and a spin off from the main thing we know as chair. But Brendan took about five to ten minutes trying to figure out how you can make a giraffe a chair. <laughs> he's like, but he's like, but I mean, still, the giraffe is like a living creature. And, and so it can't be considered a chair. Yeah, it has four legs. <laughs> it has four legs. You can sit on a, on a giraffe. Uh, it was, so, it was so, more funny when we were talking about it. So Not wait, that, yeah. if that was true, all the chairs would be giraffes. Oh, yeah, we'd yeah, yeah. be calling chairs giraffes. Would we be calling chairs giraffes? Yes, that, that is a good we question. Could yeah. We could also call them horses. Also, this sector, <laughs> this sector right here is getting buffed by another sector that's just outside here. And there's like, the seeker. We miss again, <laughs> because logic, the and then, um, this guy gets I'm sorry, I don't know the names, this is post. I usually, I remember the names when I'm recording this. That's not what's the name. What the ones? No, 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 no. No. It's raining death over here. Uh, that's not, that's what the ones. That might be, that's Hero Vincent. He's a big beefy guy, he's the man in charge. We managed to kill him. Well, not quite, though. Um... Two different shots, yeah. So I decided to take him because, um, those of you who aren't familiar with XCOM, the yellow shield means that you can flank the enemy. Which, in turn, if you hit them, can do a critical attack. But, um, you probably won't miss them because you get, a um, higher chance to hit them because you flank them. Also, um, this and one of our guys right here is flanked because, um... <laughs> That guy here, Vincent, like, misses that shot from point blank. Well, I mean, he's, he's catching his breath, you know, he just got strangled by an alien. Dude, if I was getting strangled by an alien, I would have just done a 360. A 360? Ah, just sprayed bullets. With no scope? Forget the no scope. Okay. You don't have a scope, it's an LMG. It's a scope? God, Wait, come on. Probably now, th this was a really scary scene because, um, I guess what he was trying to do was trying to, uh, like, next turn. I don't know. I don't really know what he was trying to do. Maybe he was trying to strangle my guys, trying to get away. Maybe he was trying to go into stealth mode and back off a little bit. Yeah, but he's 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 in front of like four of my like my whole team. So any one of these guys could kill them, but they still managed to miss because they're rookies. Yeah. I need to move. I want to move Alan out of the way because that seeker's right there. Alan, Alan. Alan. Shut up, Stewie. Alan. 
Have you seen the groundhog? It's like, Alan, Alan, Alan. The groundhog day? Alan. No, the oh. groundhog day. It's a groundhog, so it's a video. Oh, okay. It's a video. It's like making a sound, but like, they cut they cut out the audio. And it okay. opens its mouth, it's like it's saying Alan, so it's like, Alan, 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 <laughs> Alan, Alan. Alright. Alan. Alan. So we're here, guys. I'm just, uh, I'm pretty sure this is the last daily. I mean, I, at least I was sure in the gameplay. Okay. I, I think it actually is. So, um, wrapping up the video here. I know we didn't really talk much about the, the video at hand here, but, um, I really, really... I'm sorry about, like, the, the, you know, kind of lazy come back to YouTube, um, with this next kind of episode. It's just, um, I really wanted to get an episode out, and I didn't realize there was so much background noise while I was, uh, recording the, the commentary initially. But, um, I managed to get that shot there, and that would be GG, I think. Yep. Aliens killed. Uh, no XCOM episode, no XCOM operatives lost. Both metal canisters were collected day, because we finished the mission, therefore we didn't need to collect the second canister. And that was uh, GG for our little alien friends there. Yeah, GG. So, um, wrapping up the video here, guys. Um, I do have, um, looking at the end of the video here, um, I do have some medals that I need to award uh, my XCOM team. Uh, that have been sitting there since the last episode. I keep on been meaning to uh, award them to uh, the people in my squad, but uh, we'll go ahead and promote some people. Um, heat ammo is Excellent very situational, work, in my I'm opinion. I'm impressed you uh, were able to recover so mean, much like, of the melt substance without any casualties. To, uh, floaters, I mean, I, I don't know what exactly the game classifies as robotic enemies. So I just went with rapid reaction. So, um, I mean, it, I guess it would make sense in the first place because it's it's so good. If you miss a, if you hit the first reaction shot, you get a second chance to do extra damage with another Overwatch reaction shot. So what, what, it's not that bad question, actually. It, does it count as like if you do that, um, like if you have a first Overwatch and you kill somebody, and on the next move you stay on Overwatch? We'll have to find out. I'm not sure. That's a good question. Or is though. Second like unnecessary. So um. At Lance Allen here, I'm just gonna probably, I expect with, um, the other, um, skill that I could take. Uh, lightning reflexes. Alan! Actually, no, I went with Alan. lightning reflexes. Alan. Um, because... Alan! That, the other one is very situational, what I have. Um, up close and personal. Alan! Alan. Usually I run these guys with assault rifles, um... Alan. Except for maybe uh, maybe once in a while we're on shotguns, but that's very situational. Uh, again, assault rifles, normal assault ranges, stuff. What? His name's Alan. Covering fire for that last XCOM member. Um, now snapshot and the other uh, perk that I'm about to pick. Um, I had one comment in my last video say that squad side is a lot better, is because um, it allows firing, allows firing at targets in uh, in allies' side radius. First sniper, um, as opposed to um, the other perk, which basically allows you to um, remove the sniper's one main disadvantage, um, not being able to shoot after the second turn unless you want to swap to your pistol, which is kind of annoying. So Why after that, that, not be worth it. That after that, uh, panic has increased across North America. Panic has decreased across Europe. Panic has decreased in South Africa, and we got four engineers. So um, quickly before I end of the video, uh, I want to go. I went ahead and built two um, carapace armors. Remember, we will be watching. Well, I need, I need uh, more alloys. Commander, you can now honor for, our soldiers um, by awarding them medals for accomplishments you deem appropriate. Might be you can view and award medals in the barracks. But, um, yeah, I think that's going to bring us to the end of the video here, guys. Um, if you like this, if you like this video, um, well, actually, no, that's that's at the end. Anyway, guys, it's been X Badger Net X, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye! X Badger Net X, and X Badger Lord X, X, X. Bye! Bye, out. Hey guys, X Badger Net X here again, and before I let you guys go, well, again, uh, I want to try out this new interactive annotation thingy at the end of every video. 
So from now on, at the end of every XCOM enemy within video and every other future project, there's going to be these little interactive annotation thingies that will take you to the next and previous episodes just by clicking on those two little play buttons there. And as always, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And if you do those three things, uh, I will almost guarantee you a spot on my XCOM squad if there's room. But anyway, guys, I will see you guys in the next XCOM episode. X Badger Knight X out.